Oh man, I think this is going to be one of the hardest ones. Let's start off with two players that I think nobody can disagree with. Let's pop the two goats, Messi and Cristiano, into S. Boom. Ooh. Bam. Oh. Bop. Bada bop. Boom. Pow. Oh! What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to another tier list. Today we're taking a look at the best free cards in eFootball 2024. Let me know how right or wrong I got it in the comments below. All right, lads, let's go straight in. Now, there's going to be a couple of difficult choices in this. We have got our tiers S, A, B, C, and D. We're going to have 10 selections each, five categories, 50 players. There might be some players missing, and I also haven't included that many GP players. So we have Barrios, we have Donnarumma, we have a couple of these guys here um, that we've included, such as Lorente and stuff. Um, but we haven't included a lot of the different versions of the cards. So there's only one version of Mbappe, there's only one version of the Lick, there's only one version of Neymar, Messi. Um, if I've missed a player, please do get in touch in the comments below. But I've tried to keep it to the best GP players that you can buy with GP, and also the free players that you could have got from login bonuses or campaign bonuses or free rewards or from buying from the eFootball Point shop, such as the likes of Perez or Robbie Keane. So, we're going to start with D, we're going to work our way up, I'm going to do this quick, and I'm going to, this is going to be difficult, because we're going to have 10 players in S and A, so there's going to be 20 top tier players, and then B, C and D are going to be a little bit below that, and there's going to be a couple of controversial takes in this, I think, as well. So, kicking us off, right, I'm going to obviously be a little bit biased, kicking us off, we are going to start, let's start with an easy one. So, I'm going to put in Tell into D, I'm also going to put in Upa Meccano into D. Upa Meccano has flirted with being an absolute beast in this game, but he also seems to be very clunky. Um, I also will give a bit of a disclaimer here as well. I haven't played that much with Kul uh, Kulovsky, uh, or Kulosevsky, so I'm going to probably pop him into C just to get the ball rolling on C. We're going to pop Mudrik. I think even as a free player, he's down the list for free players that you could have got as an absolute beast. There's way better wingers than him at the moment. His stamina is really poor no matter how you build him. And this is a card that a lot of people didn't actually get way back when. Um, and I just feel like, with, listen, you could, if you, it's all about comp compar comparatively, you know, comparative uh, perception or perspective of how you're training these cards and how you're actually viewing these cards. If you were to pop these cards into like a meta tier list, these would all be probably C and Ds, apart from maybe Neymar and Son Krasen, okay? But the rest of the cards would probably be interchangeable. But when you pop this list and they're all competing against each other, it kind of evens it out a little bit. We're also going to pop in free Giroud in there. I do feel like that Giroud is kind of one of these cards that a lot of people have never really used. People that have used him have loved him, similar to Collar with me. Um, but a lot of people haven't used him, right? Similar for me with Greasy. I'm going to pop Griezmann into C. I haven't played enough with him, but I do feel like that he is a fairly okay player. It's just that there's so many better players than him there now. Um, and then just to get the ball rolling, we're going to... No, I'll leave Ronaldo for a second. We're also going to pop in our hand, this guy here. We're going to pop him into C. And then we're going to complete the D list here as well. So Aslani is going to go into D. I don't think there's any real compa complaints there based on the rest of the players we have in this pack here. I'm also going to... Listen... Oh, man, it feels it feels like I feel dirty putting Goretzka in a D because he was such a beast for me in this uh, in this game for a year for a year when the game first launched. But I can't really put him any higher than a D based on the rest of the players in this in this squad, man, or in this in this tier list. Especially when you're looking at the rest of the players here, it's very very difficult. I, I definitely feel I'm going to struggle to place him any higher than that. But we'll see. We might revisit it. We're also going to pop in, I would say, this guy. I know a lot of people, we're going to pop him into B straight away. I'm going to clear this very, very quickly now. We're going to go quick fire, okay? Um, and get your debates in. Get your comments in below whether you agree or tell me how wrong I am uh, <laughs> with it. So, let's go through this very, very quickly and finish B, C, and D, and then we can get into the debate with S and A, because that's going to be more difficult. So, I'm going to go with Antonio Silva is going to go into C. Barrios is going to go into B. Garrett Barry is going to go into B. We're also going to throw Bebeto into B. We're going to throw Ben White into B. We are going to throw Kamavinga into B. Delict, I think we're going to pop him into B. Doku, we're going to pop him into C. Fermin, we're going to pop him into D. Farrah, we're going to pop him into C. Uh, Gavi, we're going to pop into B. Graven Birch, we're going to pop into D. Again, a controversial one, but this Graven Birch is not it compared to the rest of the players on this list. Uh, in my opinion, 
We're also going to pop in. Let me see who I'm missing here. Oh, man, this is tough. We're going to pop in Perez into C and Simmons into C. Now, don't get me wrong. This Simmons card was an absolute monster. I just feel that the card is a little bit outdated now for where the gameplay is at. He's still a beast if you do have this card and you play with him. I just feel like that there's so many good AMFs in the game now that it's very difficult to put him any higher. Um, we're also going to pop in Bono. We're going to probably put him into C. And Sengara, we're going to pop into B. Now, that's again another controversial one. Let me just move this list up a little bit here so that you guys can see my face. So that's leaving us with, with a few players left um, that we, we probably... Yeah, it's it's. I'm fairly happy with those choices. There is a couple of debatable ones in there, but I do feel like that that's a fairly good pick. We also mentioned Messi. So to kick us off with Messi and Ronaldo, I'm actually going to pop in... Man, I'm tempted to actually bring the Licht out into A for a minute. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that, and I'm going to pop Messi and Ronaldo into this list here, which is B. So I'm going to probably pop Messi, any version of Messi that's free, apart from the, you know, the ones that you have to buy with coins. I think these versions of Messi and Ronaldo, they're both the free ones, or the Inter Miami ones, or any free version of uh, Ronaldo or Messi that you've got, or the GP. They, are, they have good player ID, they're really, really, really strong. Um, but I don't think with the rest of the players on this list that they can go any higher than a B. Maybe into A, but we'll see how it shakes out. Mm. No, to be honest with you, I'll put him into A, man. I think I have to put him into A strictly just because that we still have Robbie Keane, who I'm going to pop in here. We're also going to pop in, and this is going to be my first big controversial one of the day, I think. Oh, man, this is tough, man. This is tough. Do I put... Oh, man. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Okay, I'm going to put Musa into B. I'm going to be fair and put Collar into C. I'm going to put Collar above Giroud, but I'm not going to put him above any of the rest of the players on this list for now. Actually, I would be tempted, man, to put him above Bebeto. Now, that's going to cause a bit of friction, I think, with some people. But I'm going to put him there, man, because Collar for me is my ultimate. He's a game changer. Uh, he's definitely one of the most impactful players off the bench. And as a free-to-play player, I would definitely... Listen, Bebeto is a dime a dozen, lads. There's, there's, there's so many versions of Bebeto out there. Robbie Keane is a better version of him, in my opinion. Sangara, Gavi, Kamavinga, Ben White, Barrios. Oof, this is tough, man. This is tough. But I, I'm going to stick with it for the, I'm going to stick with it for the moment. We're also going to put Limar into A there. Um, oh man, I could move. I could move a few around. Actually, do you know what I'm going to do? And this is again controversial. I'm going to swap out Daku out here, and I'm going to put him down here. I'm going to put Daku down into D, and we're also going to put this guy into D, and that's going to finish off our Ds. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move. I think. Robbie Keane down on par with Bebeto. So if you're complaining about Bebeto being low, you guys know how much I rate Robbie Keane. Like really, really highly. I think he's an absolute beast. And he's in line with Limer and uh, Silva here as well. Oh man, I feel like Silva and, and Limer should be, should be a lot higher there. But just looking at the rest of the players, it's kind of difficult, man. It's very difficult. If we're going to have Messi here, we're also going to have Maradona here. I think that they're very similar players. They do the same thing. I think Messi is slightly better than him in terms of his player ID and his player style. But Maradona is really good if you like to dribble, which I like to do. But I'll try to be fair and leave him in A. Um, that's probably the best place for him. We're also going to put Donnarumma, I think, into A. And we are going to put Hernandez, Pavard, Bastoni, and also, I think, Declan Rice. Declan Rice is going to go into B. Oh man, Labak is going to go into B, into A. And I think Jimenez is going to finish us off with the Bs. Or with the As. Now, this is leaving us with Bellingham, Borella, Costa Corta, Lorente, Marquinhos, Free Mbappe, Free Neymar, Free San Crassen, Free Rudy, and Rodri Standard as the S tier. That is... I'm, I'm just looking at that and the only thing I'm thinking there is would I swap out Lorente for Jimenez? That is the only thing I'm thinking here. We've got our center forwards in Mbappe and Neymar. I definitely think that Neymar and Mbappe, for the, most players, are above Ronaldo, Messi, and Maradona. So I'm happy enough with the S tier there. 
Defensively, we have got our center backs, um, which Costa Corta, Rudy, and Marquinhos. And then our midfield players, we have Son Krasen as our attacking midfielder. Uh, you could argue that Son Krasen is probably not as good as Maradona if you play with Maradona a lot, but I genuinely think Son Krasen is completely broken in the game. Bellingham, this is one of the best free cards that they ever released. I feel like I'm missing one or two notable guys. I'm kind of in the back of my mind. Um, Barella, I think, is one of the best GP players ever. He's just an amazing, amazing card. Um, his standard card is amazing. So is Laurentiis. Yeah, man, this is a tough one, man. This is a very, very tough one looking at that list. Declan Rice is in the Bs. I mean, is, is, is A. Donnarumma, would I be tempted to pull Donnarumma out for... <sighs> Do you know what? I'm going to actually take Donnarumma there and I'm going to move Lorente down. Uh, because I do feel like that Donnarumma is probably the best. He's probably the lower of the S tiers here, but I feel like he is probably the best goalkeeper in the game, especially with the way the goalkeeping has gone and it's kind of a bit changed. But, oh man, that's a tough one, man. That is very, very tough. Looking, just having a glance over that. Maybe tiredness is playing a factor with my decision making. But lads, let me know what you guys think, man. Let me know what you guys think. We will be back very, very soon. Let me know if you want more tier lists. And let me know your own thoughts. I'll be back later. Don't forget to subscribe. Ah, oh, man, this is a tough one, man. This is a very tough one. But we'll talk to you later. Let me know how, how bad I messed this up. Peace.